What is up bros now no wasting time we got over a dozen insane tricks to get into in this video and first up is the sideways punch hole spawn peak on the new border rework and I know it's not out for most of us in the bra fam but I wanted to get you ahead of the curve and throw in some basics in this video for you to use when it comes out and then once the season officially drops I will do a follow-up video with more advanced tricks for kills that are going to be freer than Costco samples and broken monitors on the other team so if you haven't already please subscribe and get ready for all of the insane stuff that I have planned this season. Up next is one of the strongest Valcam spots that you can do that'll give you options for jump outs around this entire side of the map. You can see here that this cam is pretty much 100% invisible and unless they have an IQ this camera is going to give attackers nightmares and is going to make them go on Twitter and complain about how cameras should lose signal when they're outside. Up next is a couple of insane spots that my friend Gustus showed me and I don't know I guess the weather has taken a toll on these areas of the map rooftops and it's caused a couple gaps that both bugs and capital bolts can fit through. This first one is to slam anyone on catwalk and is a complete game changer when attacking clubhouse. No more Fortnite! The second one is for taking out an echo that's been camping by the statue on villa for the last eight minutes just remember it's going to be the fifth low shingle to the left and if you need help just leave a comment or pause the video now while we're on villa we are going to give some love to the defenders with this elevated angle to catch anyone vaulting into the bedroom through the window by the fireplace i really like this one because even when attackers drone out the room they're gonna think it's safe to at least enter before droning the next area but that's when you're gonna just take their elo now jumping to skyscraper we got a quick 2-4 drone hole angle to keep in mind the next time you guys need to attack bedroom this is an angle that's actually been around for quite a while but because skyscraper wasn't in the map for a while and then it's recently back in it's one that i just never see this is an angle you can do and feel extremely safe while you're holding it and you're going to be able to take out any anchors rotating or camping by the dresser that goes all the way back to the wall up next is the 200 iq vault spot that you guys need to know about that dangleberries found it's absolutely insane for cav, late flanks, angles into CCTV, and overall just slapping attackers, so it has to go in this video. It's incredibly easy to do and can be done in just a few seconds by crouch walking up the duffel bag and then to the trash bags and then you'll see the vault prompt. Now going up to the rooftop, we have a grenade spot that'll go to the big wall in office and it's hard to say how this will be played out now that the other side is technically inside of the map, but if somebody's hiding under the desk or if the meta switches and it's common to have rotate holes here, then this nade will take care of it all. I found it easiest with sledge because you can sledge a precise flat area to run on, but it can also be done with a shotgun. Man, I'm dead. All right, so before we get into the next trick, I want to thank the very special sponsor of this video, Omaze. Omaze raises money for charity by offering amazing experiences and items. The one I'm talking about for this video is how you can enter for a chance to win $20,000 to build your perfect PC. By winning $20,000, you'll be able to level up your PC, whether it's for gaming, graphic design, video editing, or literally just slapping attackers off spawn. This would be enough to cover for peripherals, new monitors, enough RAM for anything you could possibly want, and all the extra that come with it. Every donation supports Gamers Outreach where they provide recreation to children in hospitals with gaming. I can only imagine what a lonely and scary place these young people go through and Baby Broad just turned 3 years old so the thought of him having to go through something like that alone actually pains me. Our donations can help ease these burdens by providing the right equipment, tech, and software to these kids to cope with long term treatment. So if you would like to potentially win this $20,000 to build your perfect PC and potentially help these kids get the next insane 360 ACOG one tap off spawn, then you can go to omaze.com forward slash coconut B. Also, don't forget to use my code down below and you'll get 150 additional entries. Up next, 10 second tip. If you're defending and for some reason nobody takes out the speaker, you can actually get an angle onto it yourself from archives up through the skylight. 
My current favorite spot on theme park is next, and since the chandelier spot above dragon is fixed, this one definitely helps us get by. You're going to need to make sure that you look south after going prone before backing up into the locker or else you do risk falling out. But once you're inside of the lockers, it is truly one of the rattiest spots that's currently out on theme park. Up next, the evolved way to spawn peak back alley on bank. Now you can either just vault outside of stocks and then go prone and you're going to have a few seconds to spawn peek anyone and people are going to be tempted to because they see the detection they might think you're a freebie but they don't realize how hard it is to shoot back. Downside of this is that if people repel or climb up the ladder they're going to be above you on the top right so you got to get back within like 5-6 seconds. The evolved way to do this is to stand on the northwest corner of the closest desk to the window and then you'll actually have this angle through the gap of the fence and this angle just happens to go straight to the head of anybody passing the fence out of spawn. If they get past that, you can also see the police vehicle just to the left. Now this next one is best with a castle so that you can block off the kitchen window but this angle is actually insane and really unexpected and it's going to help you lock down the entire delivery entrance and around the doorway outside. You can simply just walk up against the microwave and then slowly walk forward and to the right until you feel a slight drop down. Once you're dropped lower then you can uncrouch and then lean left and you're going to have this insane angle down the lane. Up next is the new spawn peak on cafe and it's been a while since a crazy one for cafe has been discovered and this one is going to be going from prep all the way down the south lane from the christmas market spawn you can smack just the left side of the bakery door so that the attacker literally won't be able to have a chance or even have a reason to suspect this angle and then when you take his face off through the wall door two windows and metal bars of the armored truck outside his fist is going to go through his monitor now, also on the new border rework, we have this parkour vault setup that is really good for custom games or after you get some practice, real matches. It's actually really easy to do with Tachanka because his gun can precisely shoot out wall sections, but all you'll need to do is basically shoot out a ramp in the wall for yourself and then you can walk up it, just stand on the east layer, and then you're going to be able to run at the shelf and get a vault prompt. Now, you're not going to be able to plant up here, but you're probably not going to want to do this as an attacker anyways, but while you're defending, you can either use it as crazy hiding spots and you can get some insane angles. Up next is the sneakiest elevated spot on Skyscraper and it only takes a couple seconds to do. By vaulting on the glass case in Exhibition, you can crouch, go to the side until you get a slight drop and then either look around or you can pause the video right here. You're going to get a vault prompt and then you're going to be smacking the ceiling with the top of your head and from there you can get some crazy unorthodox angles. This one here through Dragon is crazy and you can even get all the way to the other side of the map in Geisha. Another way to take this to another level is you can put a, like a rotate in the Geisha wall to connect a drum and you can use it as the perfect bait for attackers because they're going to drone out the area, not see anything, get in there and then you'll be able to shoot their waist down and they won't even be able to see you. Now up next, we got something that not a lot of people do. It's insanely strong, completely quiet, really underused, and it works on a ton of different areas. Now I wanna say that Macy was the first one to make this more mainstream, and I wanna just add on to that and show you one of my favorite setups. The trick is basically C4ing from the top. Now everybody knows about C4 traps from below, but a lot of people don't realize the explosion radius is insane. If you have a C4 on the south side of Dorm Main Hall, just to the right of A-Bomb, you can use trigger cues like a Goo Mine, Valcam, Malusi Wub, or hold an angle on the door to let you know when to detonate. Malusi Wubs are probably one of my favorite because it's just so annoying to attackers, and if Valk isn't an option, then that's probably my go-to. The Malusi Wubs are also really loud, and you won't even need to visually see it before you know when to detonate, so you're not going to be trapped just in one spot. You can roam around, and if you hear the cue, then detonate. Anyways, Brafam, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I got some really spicy stuff coming up that I truly cannot wait to show you. Don't forget to check out omaze.com slash coconut B for your chance to win $20,000 for your perfect PC. So I'll see you all very soon in the next video. I love you all. Peace.